Okay, assalamu alaikum my brothers and sisters. Uh, we are still within the concept of revisation. The reason as to why we have a target and normal to a curve here on board is that I wanted to give you uh, more examples concerning about this chapter because it's very, very relevant and very, very much example about in cases, yes, you know. Uh, you can utilize that from the K, uh, what you normally call from the commercial book, just like the lives of my family. Uh, I want to give you more examples about tangent and normal to account so that you understand better the topic. Then after that, we will proceed to what you normally call um, stationary points for your information and how to test them so they're going to see. Okay? We will move to step by step, concept by concept, so that you understand better this thing. Yeah? So now let's go ahead and see how they frame questions in case you see. Let's see. Okay. Let's see this one. We have example one. We have what? Example one. Our example one is saying like this. Find the equation of the tangent. Find the equation of the tangent. To the curve. To the curve. Y is equal to x power 3 plus 4x at the point at the point B at the point B where x is equal to 2. Okay. Uh, now when you look at this question, we say there one of the best qualities of a good student of mathematics is that a student must understand the nature of the equation. Okay? Understanding the nature of the equation is very, very significant in the calculation of mathematics. You are told to find the equation of the tangent to the curve y is equal to x power 3 plus 4x at the point B where x value is 2. So that means you don't have the complete point because in every complete we must have y coordinate and x coordinate. I think you know that. Here, you have the x value. The reason as to why these guys are giving you x value is that they wanted you to get the corresponding y value so that you take that one as a point. Just understand. So the first thing we're going to do is we will take the value of x and substitute in the equation given to get the corresponding value of, of y for that particular point b. So what you're going to do is come into the solution here. Come into the solution. We have y is equal to x power 3 plus 4x. We are going to substitute this value in the equation to get the value of y. So we're going to say, look here, we're going to say y is equal to, look here. We're going to say y is equal to uh, 2. They say what? y is equal to x power 3. 2 power 3 because x value is 2 plus 4 into 2. What do I mean? Because here we have plus 4x plus what? 4x. So I say 2 power 3 plus 4x. 4 into x value. So this will give me y is equal to what's 2 power 3? That's 8. Plus 4 times 2, 8. So this will be 16. So you're going to say, look here, you're going to say b is the point. b is the point. 2 comma 16. So you have gotten what? The point. Then remember you are told, right? find the equation of the tangent. Yeah, in our previous class we said that yeah? a tangent is a line which has got the same gradient as that of the curve at the point of contact. Let's understand. So what are you going to do? The next step, just understand how the steps are flowing chronologically. Just understand, yeah? After getting the point, what you do, get the gradient, get the gradient function. Getting the gradient function is step number two. You're going to say gradient function. Gradient function. The gradient function is nothing but is a is a matter of what? Differentiating this one. You're going to say dy all over dx is equal to you differentiate this one. And differentiation we have learned in our previous class, remember, we say that you multiply by the power unless one by the power, or you subtract one from the power. So we have this one, x power 3 plus 4x. I want to differentiate this one. It will be 
3 x squared because I'll multiply by this one and less 1 by this one. Okay, plus 4. So this is uh, actually this is the gradient function. Okay, just understand the second step is getting the gradient function. After you get the gradient function, the third step, third step, third step will be this is the first step, getting the point by substituting the x value. The second step is what? Getting the gradient function, which is a matter of what? Differentiating the uh, equation given, equation of the curve. Then the third stage or step is that you are going to get the gradient. How are you going to get the gradient of the tangent? You are going to substitute the value of x. Look at that. You are going to substitute the value of x in the gradient function, not in the equation above. In the gradient function you have gotten. So we are going to say, remember, our x value is what? It's 2. So, and I have this one. I'm going to say gradient is equal to. Gradient is equal to. I will substitute the value of x in the gradient function. So I will say the read into 2 squared because x is 2. Plus 1, plus 4. This will give me 3 times 4 because 2 squared is 4, yeah? plus 4. So this will give me 12 plus 4, which is. 16. So this is the gradient of the tangent at the point B where it meets with the curve. Just understand. So after getting a gradient and you have uh, and having a point, what are you going to do? You're going to say taking a general point. Taking what? A general point. The general point is always called what? X1 in bracket. Together with together with B, which is 216 and my gradient is also 16. Just understand this thing, yeah? Just understand this thing. So, what I will do is, I will get the equation. I will say y minus 16 all over x minus 2 is equal to 16 out of 1. Okay? Cross multiply. So, 1 multiplied by this one is remain the same. y minus 16 is equal to this time is this 16x minus this time is this. That 2, take this one to the other side. So y is equal to 16x minus that 2. Look here, minus 1, that 2 plus because this is negative on the other side, it will be positive. Plus 16. So y is equal to 16x plus, not plus, sorry, minus 16. This is the equation of the tangent to the curve at point B. So this is how you are going to do it. So don't get messed up, yeah? Don't get messed up. This is the procedure. So procedure number one is what? We substitute the value of x in the equation given to get the corresponding value of y for that particular point. After getting the point, come and get your gradient function. The gradient function is what? Is that equation given differentiated? You differentiate the equation. After getting the gradient function, get the gradient of the tangent by substituting the x value of the point in the gradient function. Then after that, Taking this gradient, which is the gradient of the tangent, plus the point you have gotten will give you the equation of the tangent to the curve at point B, my class and sisters. Very, very easy, by the way. Okay? I think you are getting this thing. So, uh, in our next example, let's see another one. Another one. Uh, a time where, so this one, understand the nature of this equation. You are given the equation and the x value. Sometimes these guys will give you the point and the, the, the equation of the curve. The point, the whole point. But for this one, you need to do extra work. Why? Because you don't have the y value. You have to get the y value. Yeah? Okay. Let us see example uh, two. How we are going to do example uh, two for information. Okay. Let me write here example two. You know this relation up there. Okay. Example two is saying like this. Find the equation of the tangent. Find the equation. Of the tangent. Find the equation of the tangent at the point. At the point zero comma negative three to the curve. To the curve. To the curve. To the curve y is equal to y is equal to 3x cubic 
8x cubic minus 4x squared minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 3. So what are we going to do? We have a point. This one, we are going to get first the gradient fraction. Understand, yeah? The gradient fraction. Why? Because we have the y value and the x value. Forget. So we are going to say gradient fraction. Gradient fraction. It will be, the gradient fraction will be dy over dx. That will be, differentiate this one. That will be, uh, remember your equation is what? Your equation is that one. So you differentiate that. It will be 3 times 3x power 3 less 1 minus 2 times 4x power 2 less 1 plus 2. So this will give me 9x squared. 9x squared. 9x squared minus, look here. 8x minus what? Minus 8x minus 8x plus 2. Okay? Plus 2. Then let me get the gradient of the tangent. The gradient of the tangent is gotten by substituting the x value in the gradient function. Yeah? So gradient of the tangent. Gradient of the tangent. That would be substituting the gradient is substituting the value of x in the gradient function. Okay? So that would be 9 into 0 squared minus 8 into 0 plus 2. Obviously, this would be 2. Because from here you're going to get 0, here also 0. So you'll have what? You'll have what? You'll have 2 for your information. So after getting the gradient of the tangent, remember you have the points. So you can get the equation. Let's solve it here. Okay? We'll solve it here. Let us solve it here because we need to get a clear space so we understand better this thing, guys. So I have a point under the gradient of the tangent. So I'll say, take in a general point. Take in a general point, which is always x, y, together with, together with, I have a point which is, 0, comma, negative 3. Then, my gradient is what? 2. Just understand this thing. My gradient is what? It's 2. So I say y minus minus 3 all over. x minus 0 is equal to 2. So it will be y plus 3 minus minus plus all over x alone is equal to 2. All over 1. You cross multiply. y plus 3 is equal to 2x. Because you are cross multiplying. y is equal to 2x minus 3. So that will be the final answer for that actually uh, given information. Okay? Okay, we'll go ahead and see one more about normal to the curve. I think you understand this one. Just understand how we are solving this thing. You know, the right procedure you're going to follow. Just understand all those things. Then, in case you see, I'm sure you'll do it when you're enjoying. Don't forget that. Okay? Okay, let me add one more example so that we are done with this part. This time normal to the curve. Yeah? This time normal to the, to the curve for your information. This time normal to the uh, curve. So we are saying, let's see, this is let's say this is example. Example uh, three. This is example three. We are told find the equation of a line. Find the equation of a line. Find the equation of a line which passes which passes which passes through point to point A which is five comma three five comma three Okay, we have this our point A number. A five comma three and is parallel and is parallel and is parallel to the tangent to the tangent and is parallel to the tangent 
to the tangent of the cup of the of the curve y is equal to x squared at y is equal to x squared at at b three nine at b three nine so what are we going to do so uh, forget uh, remember these two lines are parallel remember so when you come to the solution you're going to say let me write first this thing let me get i know that y and uh, y is what uh, we have y is where's the curve you have y is equal to what? x squared so let me if you share this one i'm going to say dy over dx is equal to 2x only so what i will do is uh what i will be doing here is that i will substitute the value of what the value of x because the curve at this point the, the, the tangent point is this one so gradient of the tangent gradient of the tangent will be the gradient of the tangent the gradient of the tangent will be 2 times 3 we will take this one yeah? not forget which is 6 ok so you can get remember you are told the line find the equation of a line which passes through this point and is parallel to the tangent blah blah so we need to get they are parallel means what they have the same gradient ok so I will take this gradient at that point uh, to get uh, actually the equation of the what uh, the equation of uh, that line for your information that's what they're going to do because they are parallel is what the line is having the same gradient as that of the uh, as that of the uh, tangent or as that of the curve okay so what you're going to do is so far they apparently have the same gradient m1 is equal to m2 we're going to say m1 is equal to m2 is equal to what six so we're going to say and we have a point our point a is what a is 5, 3. Because we need, to, we need to get the equation of a line passing through that point and parallel to the tangent. So we're going to say taking a channel point. Taking a channel point in bracket x, y together with together with with what? A, 5, 3. Semicolon. Then we have 6. So we're going to say y minus 3. All over x minus 5 is equal to 6 out of what? You cross multiply y minus 3 because you cross multiply is equal to 6x minus that. Just understand that there. 6x minus what? Minus that. So y is equal to 6x minus that thing plus 3. So y is equal to 6x minus 27. Remember, you are told find the equation of a line which passes through this point and is parallel to the tangent. That means after you differentiate this one, then you substitute the value of x there of the point given, point b, you're going to get the gradient. That gradient of the tangent is equal to the gradient of the, of the other line which passes through point e. uh, Why? Because they are parallel, understand? So you take that gradient at this point, you get the equation of that line which is parallel to the tangent. Guys, I think this more examples will help you to understand better. Inshallah, in our next class, we're going to discuss about stationary points as well as curve sketching. Otherwise, I wish you the best. Please make sure you subscribe and share this uh, very, very vital information to your family members and friends. Otherwise, I wish you the best.